Good evening, I'm Kim Ejetic from Gordon Food Service and chair of the Milton Chamber Board of Directors. I would like to welcome you all to our virtual version of our awards gala, celebrating the accomplishments and resiliency of our local businesses and community. While it would be better to celebrate in person, it is important to take the time to recognize the exceptional work within our Milton business community. Before we proceed, it is important to offer thanks to those who have kept us safe and informed us throughout the pandemic, including healthcare workers, first responders, our restaurant and food providers, government leaders, local media, and all of you for doing your part to get vaccinated and complying with public health care guidelines. The Chamber has been proud to play an important role in helping Milton businesses during these unprecedented times in providing free rapid tests to keep our employees, our families, and our community safe. And now let's get this show on the road. On behalf of Rockwell, I'm very pleased to be here and congratulate the nominees and recipients of tonight's awards. Milton is a place of possibilities and we look forward to seeing that continue in the future. Again, congratulations to all the nominees and recipients. Good evening and welcome to the Community Awards Gala. I'm honored to be here tonight to stand along so many great nominees and to celebrate with you. Thank you from the Milton Campaign Champion for all that you do in making our community a great place to live. Congratulations and thank you again to the Chamber for this wonderful evening. Enjoy. I'm pleased to bring greetings this evening on behalf of CN and the over 24,000 railroaders that work in Canada and the United States. As an active, committed member of the Milton Chamber of Commerce, CN is a proud sponsor of the Community Awards Gala. We've been in Milton for over 100 years. We're proud of our past here and excited for our future. Congratulations this evening to the nominees and recipients your work makes Milton a special place to live and work. Good evening. I'm Kathleen Devine, Senior Community Partnership Manager at OLG. I'd like to start by thanking the Milton Chamber of Commerce for organizing this evening's event. We are thrilled to be once again part of Milton Community Awards. While the event is virtual, the contributions of the businesses and people we are recognizing are very much real. And as we emerge from this pandemic in the months ahead, it will be the resiliency, the ingenuity and adaptability of our local businesses that will continue to make Milton a great place to live and work. OLG is proud to be part of Milton and we are proud to sponsor this event. On behalf of everyone at OLG, I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all those who have been nominated for an award. Thank you for your contribution to the community and keep up the great work. Hello everyone. My name is Lena DeMarco and I'm the Regional Director of Bell Community Affairs. On behalf of all my colleagues at Bell, let me say what a pleasure it is to join your virtual event. Today in what is becoming a familiar format, Rather than have the actual awards live in person, we are going to be treated to what promises to be an enlightening virtual event. And Bell is proud to be presenting the Young Entrepreneur Year Award. Before we begin the presentation, I want to take this opportunity to thank all our elected officials at the municipal, provincial and federal levels for their hard work and dedication during what was likely their most challenging year in office in the midst of global pandemic. And also to acknowledge and thank all the frontline workers for your dedication and support during this very difficult time. At Bell, we have been committed to doing our part to help Canadians as an essential service during COVID-19. It's important to take time out of our busy lives to recognize the achievements of the people who are building their businesses and our community during their talent and commitment. The men and women that we honor today are making Milton a better place to shape a career and fulfilling life. Congratulations to all the nominees and award recipients of today's event. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Milton Chamber of Commerce for their partnership with Bell and for enlightening us with this virtual event. My very best wishes to all to stay well and stay safe. My name is Glenda Lloyd and I'm the Ontario Community Relations Manager for Kojiko. As a longtime partner of the Milton Chamber of Commerce, Kojiko is happy to once again sponsor these community awards. 
It's especially important with the current challenge to take the time to come together and celebrate the best of Milton's individuals and businesses. On behalf of my colleagues at Kojiko, I would like to congratulate all the finalists on their accomplishments this past year. It's no small feat, and Milton is a stronger community because of your contributions. Hi there, everybody. Adam Van Cooperden here, Member of Parliament for Milton, and I wanted to welcome you to the 40th annual Milton Community Awards Ceremony. This has been an extraordinarily tough year for businesses and for people, not just here in Milton, across the country, uh, but everywhere around the world. The pandemic has thrown so many challenges our way, uh, but through perseverance and teamwork and being connected as a community, I think Milton has done a really good job weathering this storm. And I just wanna thank everybody here who has done such a great job pitching in through Milton Strong and other campaigns, supporting our neighbors. It's been a tough year, but we've stuck together and there's a really bright light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, a really big thanks to the Milton Chamber of Commerce for uh, providing all of the, uh, the resources that we've needed over the last uh, year and a bit to, uh, to support the small businesses. Thank you to all the, the, the individuals and the businesses who are nominated. Uh, congratulations to the nominees and to the award recipients. Uh, I just wanna congratulate and thank all of the organizers of the, this event, and I hope we can get together in person sometime really soon. Stay safe, everyone. Hello. Thank you for inviting me to the Chamber Annual Community Awards Dinner. Unfortunately, this year we won't be able to get together in person, but I want to thank all of the organizers for the great work that they do in our community. To all the award winners, I want to say thank you so much for all you do for our great community in Halton and in Milton. Over the next little while, we're going to need the Chamber support as we come out of this worldwide pandemic. It will be more important than ever to be able to have our businesses succeed and prosper. Our Halton Business Centre is there to help you. You can go online at halton.ca and get some information. Over the next little while, we're going to work to ensure that we achieve the best recovery anywhere in the world. Thank you again to everyone. Have a great evening. Hi everyone, I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of the Chamber Award recipients this year. Uh, you know, as a former uh, small business owner, I understand firsthand some of the challenges and the sacrifices that all of you have to make along with your families as well. Uh, you know, a lot of sleepless nights, uh, but you know, you guys have made it. You guys are the backbone of not just our town here, the province, but the country. So thank you for doing what you're doing. I also want to congratulate and thank Scott and his team at the Chamber for the incredible work they do each and every day to support our business community here in Milton. And it's been an honor to work with them and to be able to represent our community at Queen's Park. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, first of all, I want to thank the, uh, the Milton Chamber of Commerce for doing what they've been doing for quite a number of years here in the town of Milton on recognizing, as I have referred to it, the best of the best. And of course, the uh, we talk about, you know, the significant businesses and those other individuals that go over and above and beyond uh, their call of duty, so to speak. But I think what's really important is focusing in on the, uh, the business and the business community. And that, of course, what the chamber is all about. But I know these are very trying times with the uh, virus that's been going around for well over a year now, but they've never forgot about recognizing, as I'd refer to it again, the best of the best. So I just want to take this opportunity to thank the Mountain Chamber of Commerce and recognize those nominees and the winners out of their respective categories and wish them the very, very best in the uh, future. So. It sums up to the Melton Chamber of Commerce. Keep up the good work. Thanks and enjoy the balance of 2021. volunteer you know I'm, I'm, I'm inspired by everybody else that I volunteer with and I've had the privilege of being part of 
some fantastic organizations and with some amazing people that, you know, uh, um, you know, they've, they've inspired me along the way. It started with the Optimist Club of Milton and, and all the, the amazing volunteers there who really helped introduce us to the town of Milton and, and inspire us and uh, put us on our direction, on our path on volunteering. Um, then I had some time on the, uh, the Milton Community Services uh, Community Committee and again, inspired there by all the other fantastic committee members our town councillors and all the amazing staff at the town of Milton. Um, it just made me feel very privileged to be part of that. And, and all of these amazing people are what motivates you to keep going. And then for the last seven years with, uh, I've, I've had the privilege of volunteering with uh, the seventh Milton Scouts group. And, um, and uh, you know, you, you get, that's been, one of the uh, one of my uh, my highlights and um, and I'm continuing on with it and and just you know the, the the level of commitment and dedication of all of the other volunteers around us uh, and the youth um, um, and all of the uh, you know the scouts all the all the volunteers at the Central Escarpment Council and Scouts Canada. Just the, the, the dedication and passion towards the program and youth has been, uh, it's certainly been a big motivating factor to keep me going and, and, and instill more into the program. Uh, so. um, well, I'm going to add a little bit to that. Um, we've been here for what now, 17 years. So it's been a, quite, quite, quite the ride. Um, Started off, I think, with the interaction with our with our town councilors and a little issue we had with our house, and got to know our councilors and the mayor, and then we got, like Kim said, we got involved in the in the Optimist Club. Um, we've kept, I've, I've done uh, the Optimist Club, and the MCPC. Uh, we got involved in the uh, community, the uh, all the development planning meetings that uh, that uh, were going on back then for all the growth that that came along. I've myself on on top of uh, the scout being in, in the scout group. I've you know, running, helping run the Santa Claus parade every year. Spent some time with the you know, Canada uh, Canada Day committee. Um, uh, what else? What I can't. There's just so there's so yeah, many different. different some, and right now, being being the chairman of Deborah's House, uh, North Halton Independent Living. So all of those different volunteer activities in t in the town. Yeah, uh, keep contributing to all the other people in, in town without, you know, just uh, I get right, uh, now being recognized on the street from people who will see me on, on the the carts at the golf club or the Santa Claus parade. So it's been it's been inspiring. It, it, it's a lot of work, but it's a uh, it's you know, great have a great time, meet a lot of people, and uh, contribute to what Milton is now. Thank you to the Chamber of Commerce in Milton for voting me to be the recipient of the Citizen of the Year Award. I am actually quite surprised, I can't lie. Uh, you know, I want to thank God and um, all the people who were on my team, um, from Caribbean Vibes to Green Eatery, the Mills Barbecue, and everything in between, Chef Milani Bastian's brand. I really honestly couldn't have done this without Milton, the people, because, you know, exactly as it says, Milton is a place of possibilities. I've done so many things in life where, you know, it's taken me different places, but I've never, ever been in a town like Milton where the people come together, whether through the storms or to the parties or, you know, celebrations. And uh, to be named citizen of the year, you know, at such a young age in my career. Uh, I, I'm so I'm so honored. And um, it, it took me a long time to be like, Oh, my gosh, like I've been nominated. And then I was a finalist. And now I won. So um, honestly, I'm my friends will tell you like, I'm not really speechless at most times. And this this really had me 
um, struck in my heart because it was it's so amazing. I just want to take the two seconds to promote our No One Goes Hungry. So I think this is one of the biggest reasons why this recognition um, was even given to me because of No One Goes Hungry. So we were able to feed 14,517 meals into the community with the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton and Food for Life. So thank you to Andrew Terrell and Graham Hill and their teams who diligently helped us to promote and to get this, this project off the ground. So no one goes hungry in Halton. Um, again, it's something that we have been pushing and you know every platform that I'm given, I really, really wanna take time to promote that. So no one goes hungry is basically exactly that, that no one goes hungry and we are going to give families food education and uh, the opportunity to be food secure, you know, in their future and, and, and for life. And we wanna put those systems together and get halt and hunger free together. So being the citizen of the year, I'm definitely, definitely excited that we are able to further this project. And again, thank you Chamber of Commerce and Milton for even giving me the opportunity to be a part of the Chamber. As a business owner, I really, really appreciate all your efforts, especially through COVID, um, all the communication and all the pivoting and everything that you guys have done, you know, bravo. Um, thank you to everybody who, you know, continuously supports our efforts and continues to pour love and support into my life, uh, my children's lives. You make a real difference in my life as we make differences and strides together. And I really look forward to whatever the, the title holds, I, I look forward to fulfilling that. So thank you so much for this awesome honor of being Citizen of the Year. And I look forward to many, many more years with the Chamber to come. Thank you so much. is an honor of a lifetime to receive this award and I certainly want to thank the people who uh, were kind enough to submit my name for the nomination. Um, it has indeed been an exciting ride and I've been a member of this community now for 40 years and my first involvement of course was with the rural area and then it expanded more into the uh, urban and downtown Milton. Um, back well before I was a member of council I was a part of the Destiny Milton One um, task force or that, that worked on how we might see Milton develop. And um, it was really at that point that we, we knew that Milton was going to change. And what was it that we needed and what was it that we should try and achieve and get ready for this explosion of growth that came. And I am, I guess the, as I look back, I'm just absolutely thrilled that the things that that group decided back in the Destiny Milton One, led by people like Sandy Martin from the Chamber and Jennifer Reynolds of the town and Jane Watkins and, and uh, um, the director at the time of the uh, MCRC. The things that those that that group set us set in motion really made Milton what it is today uh, a diverse but yet very um, a very community or orientated um, community um, to, to think that we have grown the way we have grown and yet have such a small town feel and such a um, such an emphasis on inclusion and participation I think that if you look back on it, the thing I'm most proud of is that the things that I cared about have survived and taken on a new leadership. And, uh, you know, stepping back and letting the new group come in and carry on and with the same kind of determination and guts. And it is, takes some guts to carry forth is just wonderful. The way that the hospital has survived and thrived, uh, the way that, um, uh, the rural area has developed and uh, the importance of the broadband that is finally being recognized, even though it took a horse and buggy to, uh, to get the first rural internet in, as the mayor would go, will long remember. Um, the, the way that Mohawk and the horse community continues to survive 
in spite of the challenges it has faced, the way that the uh, slots dollars, which I was a part of negotiating that original contract on behalf of the town, the way that they, it has supported our tax base, uh, the way our community associations, um, the NCCC has carried on with the um, rural cleanup and the community, Campbellville Community Association has taken on a whole new importance that uh, to the community. Uh, the way that the, um, the university women have carried on the, oh, it's just, it's just wonderful. And I guess if I could offer any words of advice, I would simply say, you go back to that Brookville school uh, motto, and it's very simple, but you know, most things can be, it's to work hard, play nice and make a difference. And thank you very much. I'm so proud to be a part of this wonderful community of Milton that has embraced so much change and yet maintained so much of its wonderful traditions. Thank you. So um, I just wanted to thank uh, all of you on behalf of Paula and I for, uh, for receiving this Community Builder Award. I think uh, both of us were uh, quite overwhelmed by the uh, recognition and um, absolutely happy, over the moon happy, I would say, for uh, you know, being, being presented with this award and being recognized for um, all the events that have happened over the last uh, unbelievable year that we've had. Um, you know, the thank you doesn't really go to just everybody that you know has, has been part of, of this award to us but back to the businesses themselves i think the support the community that milton as a town gives and you know just people overall just have, helping see everybody kind of build this community together and bring it back to a time that it once was i think paula being you know born and raised in milton can attest to that that uh the town you know, got away from its its roots of being a very family family oriented, friend oriented town as we're growing and rightfully so. But I think um, if we had to take anything positive out of out of what has happened over the last twelve months is that it's made our town stronger, and uh, we've become a much stronger community again. And so, you know, getting a getting this award uh, means a lot to us, and I think it has everything to do with the people that make this town. So. On behalf of Milton Strong and Paula and I, we would like to thank you dearly for uh, recognizing us for this. <laughs>